friends, welcome back to another video. We're here at Orlando based flight attendant. I hope you're doing wonderful. We are on our first flight to connect in Colombia. We are flying with our friends at Spirit. Our flight time is roughly four hours. When we get to Colombia, I'm gonna give you more details about the trip. So for now, let's just enjoy the flight down to Colombia. We officially made it to Colombia. <laughs> we had such a great flight. I am so grateful to have these flight attendant benefits. We are now heading over to the connections area. It is 11.57. The next flight is not until 4 p.m. I am currently at an airport lounge here waiting for our next flight. And before I reveal the destination that we're flying to, let's backtrack a little bit. A couple weeks ago, I had posted four different destinations in Europe that I wanted to travel to. And I wanted you guys to pick the destination that I was going to travel to. The winning destination was Dublin in Ireland and so when I looked at my flight benefits and how I could get to Dublin, what made most sense was to fly to Boston from Orlando with our friends in JetBlue and then take JetBlue from Boston to Dublin. On paper that was a great route, however almost every flight out of Orlando to Boston had maybe like one or two open seats and when I looked at the standby list there was at least five to ten people on each flight so it wasn't looking good. That led me to start looking into options to come to South America and I've been wanting to come to South America again. I looked into flights connecting through Panama and I looked into flights connecting through Bogota. I found three countries that I was like okay I could probably I could probably go there. Those countries are Chile, Brazil, or Argentina. So when I started looking into flight loads to come to South America, Spirit had the most open flights from Orlando to Bogota and it actually had about 90 open seats on this flight and I was like, that's a no-brainer. When I looked at the flight to three countries I mentioned, they all had from 50 to 60 open seats and so obviously that made sense. And I looked into flights coming back and they all had about 30 to 50 open seats. So when I looked at all of them, it made sense to fly to South America instead of going to Europe. Now, I didn't know exactly where we were actually flying to today until very early this morning. We decided that we we're gonna list on the first flight out of Bogota and that flight is to Buenos Aires, Argentina. If everything goes according to plan, we should be in Buenos Aires, Argentina tonight. Even saying that sounds crazy. If something were to happen and we are unable to make this flight to Buenos Aires, our next option is Santiago and Chile. When I looked at flights, I was like, okay, what could I possibly do in Buenos Aires? And the food, wine, just life in Buenos Aires seemed like something that I definitely want to be able to experience. I am going to let you guys go now. I will give you an update when we start heading over to the gate to see how it goes. And hopefully we make this flight to Buenos Aires. Show, show the class. It's kind of like a generous pouring he got going on there, don't we think? Yeah, that's kind of a generous glass. I see it. <laughs> we're going to Buenos Aires, y'all. For a moment, they were talking about aircraft change and stuff happening with the seats. So I don't know if you know our chances were slim or what. The last request that I sent for a flight load hadn't updated, so we didn't know if we were actually gonna get seats. But we're going, y'all. Let's go to Argentina. Respaldar de su asiento en posición vertical. El equipaje de mano y la mesa individual guardados y asegurados, al igual que el control remoto, descansa pies, portavasos y ganchos. Needed to Buenos Aires. It is close to two in the morning. I am very tired. I am ready to go to bed. We made it here to the Airbnb and right now the goal is just really to go to sleep and then just start fresh tomorrow. The flight from Bogota to Buenos Aires was close to six hours. I had a middle seat. Osvaldo and I actually got to sit together but I'm not made to, <laughs> to be sitting in a middle seat but I'm not gonna complain. I got a seat, the flight was actually full. I think they had downgraded, and so we were very lucky that we got seats, hence why we were so excited that we cleared the standby list. But I am very, very excited to be here. I can't believe it. Tomorrow, of course, we're gonna start day one here in beautiful Buenos Aires, and we'll continue on with the vacation. So for now, I'm going to say good night, and I'll see you tomorrow for another day.
Good morning guys and welcome to beautiful Buenos Aires. It is currently 11.20 in the morning. I'm just getting up. I had such a good night's sleep. It was very much needed. We were out traveling for quite a while yesterday and the main reason why our day was so long is because we had to wait for for about four hours at the Bogota airport before we were able to start boarding this flight to Buenos Aires. It is nice and chilly here. We do have a few things that we need to do. I want to get water. I want to get some some stuff here for the Airbnb. Probably wondering like why Argentina, like why Buenos Aires. Well, number one, the flights coming here were pretty open, so that's the main reason why we decided to come here. It's music, tango and food and wine and like Spanish, European architecture and rich cultural life that like really interests me. And so I was like, that's perfect. Why not go there? I can't believe that I'm here. Just a quick little update on what we've been up to this morning. We went to the bakery. After that, we went to a grocery store to get water. We walked back to the Airbnb to drop everything off. We're trying to find the store where you buy like the passes for public transit. But Osvaldo actually has been to Buenos Aires before. And he said there's a train station that can take us to where we want to go next. And we should be able to buy the passes there. After many attempts of getting this part, we finally figured it out on our third attempt. And now we're just waiting here for the train. The next stop, or where we're going now, is to the Obelisco, and you'll see what it's all about. So let's go. How do you feel about being in Buenos Aires again? I'm super emotional. I'm here recording the streets that I've recorded for some years with friends, with people who have become convinced in family. And I'm here again. Next up on our list is a performing arts theater, Teatro Colón, and we're mainly going to see the architecture. There's a lot of like European Spanish architecture here in Argentina, which we both really enjoy looking at. If you did not know, Buenos Aires is the birthplace of tango, so hopefully we can watch a tango show in the next couple days. Of course, Osvaldo's like already looking. Let's continue on to our next stop. Los teatros han construido de esta forma eh, alto, um, tipo el coliseo, que es lo que le llaman, porque en el teatro no se utilizaba micrófono, eh, sino que la gente hablaba alto a través de un diafragma eh, potente, hablaban, personificaban, y entonces el eco eh, la resonaba y todo el mundo podía escuchar porque no, no existía la tecnología o sea, la tecnología era la construcción que hacían para que se pudiera escuchar Cheers to an amazing day We are back in the Airbnb here and honestly like we did so many things today it is close to 9 p.m. and the night's just starting we have two more places that we're going to visit we're going to go to a restaurant called la hormiga and after that we're going to go to a bar that's called sofa bar i've been vlogging all day but i've also been taking my breaks in between the vlogging so that has been good because i feel like it's a nice you know balance i bring you guys along and i also enjoy the experience i think i'm going to say goodbye now and i am going to see you tomorrow for another day. We are heading over to Oli Cafe. It is currently not raining, but it's like, it's cloudy and it's sprinkling a little bit. So I don't know that we'll be able to accomplish much today, but we're still gonna put ourselves out there and hope you have a wonderful day. So come with us. We 
are actually going to attempt to tour Teatro Colón, which you guys saw on the outside yesterday, but we're trying to actually see it inside. And we originally were not going to go inside, however, because it's raining, and it is expected to rain in the next few days, we're trying to find things that we can do inside. So that way we are able to maximize our time here in Buenos Aires. But yeah, I thought I'd come on here, give you that little update. Let's see if we finally make it to the theater. We just got out of the theater. It was such a wonderful experience. If you are in the Buenos Aires area, you should definitely come. What did you think? Do you like it? Sí, esto fue una experiencia extraordinaria y la gente que visita Buenos Aires tiene que venir al Teatro Colón. Cuando entras a la sala es una experiencia eh, magnífica, eh, los detalles, a, a las personas que la apasiona el teatro. Like you. Como yo, claro. Yeah. Van a saber la importancia que tiene este teatro. But it was named the third theater with the best acoustic. Yes. Overall, it was a great experience. If you are ever in the Buenos Aires area, this is a must visit. We weren't allowed to film in there, but we did take pictures, so we're going to share those with you. Right now, we really don't have any plans for the rest of the day because it was raining. So we're just going to probably find a place to either eat or drink something and then continue on with our day. So let's go. same day it took us about an hour and some change to get here we actually took a bus and we were all the way in La Boca which is I want to say like south and then we came all the way like north northwest so it took us took us a long time I wasn't feeling 100% earlier like I, I don't know if I had a weird reaction to something or what but like my face was all red and my ears were super warm and so decided to just stay in tonight and it was also raining so there wasn't really much for us to do I hope that you guys enjoy this day and we'll see you tomorrow for another day here in Buenos Aires good night welcome to another day it is actually very cloudy it was raining earlier there were thunderstorms too so we don't anticipate doing much and I guess we knew in a way that yesterday and today we're going to rain so we kind of waited on the days that we're going to be sunny to do the most things however we are still going out today we don't have a lot on our agenda for today other than finding food <laughs> and then going to see if we find something to do around the neighborhood that doesn't require to hop on a bus or the train let's see what we encountered today welcome to a lot later we're here at a coffee shop called Bosta and we're just enjoying a nice little cappuccino and we're waiting for our tattoo appointment. We already went to the tattoo shop, talked to the to the artist and they booked us for 2.30 so we have about maybe like another 25 minutes before we need to go there. This is something that I think Osvaldo and I, and I can speak for you on this, we always wanted to... <laughs> um, we both have tattoos and we love tattoos and we decided that starting this trip we're gonna we're gonna start getting tattoos in, in countries that we visit whether we fly together or not we just randomly saw a tattoo shop and we we're like let's just stop by and yeah we're gonna do it as you know i do have like 15 16 tattoos so i'd be adding to one of my arms i'm very minimalist with tattoos so i'm just gonna get something very tiny osvaldo has a friend um, that he's from here and we're gonna be meeting with him later for dinner or drinks maybe so dinner so that's what we're doing today to get you know a little bit more chill and then tomorrow and sunday we have a lot a lot of things to do on our list see you guys in a little bit just got back from the tattoo shop and then we went to a restaurant to have dinner I actually didn't eat a lot like we shared a plate because I wasn't feeling fully hungry and we're hanging out with Osvaldo's friend tonight his name is Marcos something to know about Argentina is that one is great and cheap I will say that and second is that 
everything starts very late here. A lot of things and a lot of places don't open until 8 or 9, sometimes even 10. A lot of restaurants don't open until 7 or 8 o'clock at night and they run through the whole night until 6 a.m. at least some places that I saw. I'm gonna continue drinking my wine here, wait to see what happens in terms of where we're gonna go tonight and if I don't see you tonight, which I will most likely won't see you tonight, I will see you tomorrow for another day. Welcome to another day. We're in a bad mood because we haven't had breakfast or coffee. Let's go. Now that we have coffee and food, we're doing a lot better. We are currently here at the Botanical Garden and we are just enjoying and walking around, learning about plants, seeing the different gardens. And it is actually cold today. We are going to continue walking around here and we have like three or four more things to do today. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a little bit. We are approaching the Japanese garden. We have to go to the entrance, to the main entrance to get tickets. I think we have to get tickets mm -hmm. for this one. We normally, honestly on our trips, we usually don't buy tickets ahead of time. That's a blessing and a curse because that happened to us when we were in Rome and we weren't able to go to the Colosseum because we didn't buy the tickets when we were supposed to. Uh, we're kind of doing the same here, but I think we'll be fine. It looks incredible. So let's see if we're able to find tickets and hopefully we're able to walk around and see everything in there. And we've made it to La Recoleta Cemetery. It is actually very well known here. People in Argentinian history have been buried here. So it is one of the top places to visit when you're here in Buenos Aires. So we're actually heading over to the other side so that we can get tickets. Again, with the whole ticket situation. <laughs> and it actually closes at five. So we're probably gonna have about an hour to tour the cemetery. And the adventure continues. We are currently in Puerto Madero. We are going to watch a tango show tonight here in this area. So we figured it was best for us to just come here a bit earlier so that we can check the area out. I don't know if we'll be able to come back tomorrow. There's a lot of nightlife here, a lot of bars, restaurants, and it's just a really cool vibe overall. Get a chance to talk to you about the whole tango show experience we were so ready to just get here to the Airbnb we've been out for the past 12 hours so we're definitely tired it was such an amazing show the entire time like we're just like sitting there in awe like watching the performance and it was just freaking great tonight is the last full night here in buenos aires tomorrow night we actually have to head over to the airport because we're gonna start our journey back to orlando overall the experience here in buenos aires has been amazing for now i just wanted to come on here and share that with you 
I am going to get out of this clothes, shower, and go to bed because tomorrow we have two more things on our list. We're going to like a festival in a, a different neighborhood that we've not been to and I can't remember what else we're doing. And then after that, we're coming back to the Airbnb to make sure that we're all packed and good to go. And again, we'll start our journey, but I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you tomorrow for our last day here in Argentina. Hey friends, welcome to another day. We actually started very, very late today. It's close to 4.30 p.m. And we are currently at the San Telmo Fair, at least 10 or 12 blocks worth of different vendors local to Buenos Aires. And this is primarily the plan that we had for today, honestly. We knew that we couldn't do much. So we're just walking around here, enjoying, seeing what people create here. So we're gonna continue on and we'll talk a bit more in a little bit. Welcome to a lot later. It is time to say goodbye to Buenos Aires, but I don't want to leave before saying a few things about this trip. As you know, I came here on vacation, and even though it seemed like I was not on vacation, most of my days started very late because that's how life is here. And my days ended up late, but again, I had pretty much all morning to sleep. I did feel a vacation in a way because I wasn't waking up early every day. I feel grateful that I had the opportunity to come here for a few days and learn about architecture, culture, politics, government, understand how lifestyle is here. I explore different methods of transportation. It felt so nice to just stay in one country for a few days and really understand how everything works here. I can honestly say that I fell in love with Buenos Aires and I don't think this will be my last time here. I am so grateful for this job that allows me to have these benefits to go and explore to other countries and you know just really see more of the world. My favorite part about being here in Buenos Aires was the neighborhood I stay in. I was in Palermo the whole time and there's so many restaurants and so many good coffee shops. I did notice that when you go towards like the Puerto Madero area or La Boca, those are more touristy neighborhoods, more expensive there. The way that we primarily moved around the city was using buses and the subway. And from time to time, we did Uber a few times. Even though we wanted to use local taxis, we didn't always had cash. And I know a lot of them prefer cash rather than using cards. So that's why we relied on Uber instead. Overall, I felt safe the whole time when I was here in Buenos Aires. Something you should know about Buenos Aires is that if you think New York doesn't sleep, just wait until you come here. I believe that's it. Just wanted to share those few things with you. We are all packed up and ready to go. I think I am going to say goodbye now. We have a long night. We are flying from Buenos Aires to Bogota and then we are flying to Orlando. I am hoping that everything goes according to plan because if that's the case, we should be in Orlando tomorrow around 2 p.m. So we're basically gonna be flying all night. I am mentally prepared for that. I think I'm going to end things here. I just realized that it's probably loud because I am outside, so I apologize for that. But if you did enjoy coming to Argentina with me, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I am going to see you next time for another adventure. Take care.